start with six chains. One, two, three, four, five and six. Then here in the first chain, work one slip stitch and close the ring. Now make three chains which will stand for the first treble. Make one treble into the ring and another and another treble and continue making trebles until you have a total of 16. Now here where we have the three initial chains into the third chain make one slip stitch closing the row. To start the next row you see the three initial chains here which stand for the first treble of the previous row. Insert the hook through the back of this treble, there, bring the yarn through and make one double crochet. Work three chains, skip one treble and make one double crochet into the next treble. Make two chains, one, two, turn the work and here in the three chain space make eight trebles one two three four five six seven and eight and this is what it looks like turn again and here on the back of the work where we have the second treble of the previous row insert the hook through the back bring the yarn through and make one double crochet this is the first petal make three chains one two three now in the first treble of the previous row into which a double crochet was made, skip one treble and into the next make one double crochet. Make two chains, turn the work and into the three chain space make eight trebles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There. Turn the work again and inserting the hook into the back of the treble that was skipped. There. Pull the hook through, pull the yarn through and make one double crochet. We've just made the second petal make three chains and here is the treble into which the double crochet was made skip one treble and into the next make one double crochet two chains turn the work and into the three chain space make eight trebles one two three four, five, six, seven, eight. Turn the work. This is the treble into which the double crochet was made. Insert the hook into the back of the treble that was skipped. Bring the yarn through and make one double crochet. We've just made the third petal. Make three chains. This is the treble with the double crochet. Skip the next one and make one double crochet into the next treble. Two chains, turn and into the three chain space make eight trebles. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Turn again and on the right side of the work do one double crochet into the treble that was skipped, inserting the hook through the back of the treble. Repeat these steps until you reach the last petal there. Here we have the seven petals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we're going to do the last one together. Make three chains, fold the first petal, bring it forward like this, holding it in place. And here, in the first treble, which we skipped at the beginning, there, work one double crochet. This double crochet is at the back of the petal. Now, two chains, turn so we work on the back and into the three chain space work eight trebles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Turn again to the right side of the work. Now here, where we have the three initial chains of the previous row, insert the hook into the back of the previous treble and make one double crochet. I've just finished the eighth petal. Now release the hook from the loop. Insert the hook through the back of the first petal here in the space where the eight trebles were made, like this. Catch the loop and take it through to the back, like this. There. Take the yarn to the back in between the petals. Now insert the hook into the skipped treble. This is the double crochet made into the previous row. The hook should be inserted into the treble before that and make one double crochet. Four chains. Go to the second petal, hold it forward, into the treble before the one with the double crochet, make one double crochet. Four chains now. Go to the next petal, hold it forward, into the treble before the one with the double crochet, make one double crochet. Four chains. Go to the next petal, hold it forward, into the treble before the one with the double crochet, make one double crochet. Repeat this until the end of the row, where there will be eight groups of four chains. I've already done seven groups of four chains and have four chains of the last eighth group. Now close the row with a slip stitch. Here we will have eight four chain spaces. Into the first four chain space make one double crochet, two chains and seven trebles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two chains and then one double crochet into the same space. 
This is the first petal of this row. Into the next four chain space, make one double crochet. Repeat the same as in the last petal. Two chains, seven trebles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two chains and one double crochet all into the same four chain space. I've just made the second petal. Now I'll go into the third four chain space and repeat the same stitches. One double crochet, two chains and seven trebles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two chains and one double crochet. And this is the third petal. Repeat these stitches into the remaining five spaces and I'll come back to finish the last petal together. I've arrived at the end of the row with the last petal to finish. So now make two chains, one, two, and then one double crochet into the same space of the seven trebles, thus also finishing this petal. Into the first double crochet of the first petal here, make one slip stitch to finish this last petal and close this row. And the flower is ready. There. Now cut the yarn and finish it off.